So I bought some more wood so I can carry on doing this temporary permanent porch. Um, it just keeps raining, man. It's so annoying. It's March now. Oh, it's doing my nutting. I can't do anything. Every time I get gear out, it's just filthy. Um, it's spitting now. It's great fun. Right, those roof sheets were already up there that I put up. So what I'm going to do now is slide them forward into the correct position. Um, always pays to hunt about. I went into one of the local brickos, found some of these. They wanted 30 euros for 30 of them. It was like, that's ridiculous. Went to show saw and they had 25 for 15 euros. Show saw is normally pretty expensive, but they come up trumps today, so I'm very happy. But in other news, I did buy paint from that bricko for a bit cheaper than some of the other shops. So, you know, swings around about. Anyway, right, let's slide them from there to there. Right, um, I didn't film it because I've just been coming home, it's been peeing down and I was just trying to get on and the other day there was a slight break in the weather and I managed to chuck this roof on. Um, it's not pretty because I literally just slapped it out of a huge overlap just to get it weather tight for now and I've decided I'm not going to use this, it's too heavy for this quite lightweight structure. I'm going to get the steel folded stuff, you can get full lengths that will do that in like two or three pieces. So that's just on there temporarily. I didn't bother bolting the rest down unless we get real mental winds, it'll be fine. Um, I've just nogged it out. Normally you nog it one there, one there, then one back up there, but I wasn't paying attention and I've tiered it. I'll just pretend I did it on purpose because it's a sloping uh, roof. Um, I've got some membrane. So what I'm gonna do now is put membrane around, then batten it, and then I'm gonna buy some, wood some cladding and then we're just going to clad it in wood and then that will be you know very semi-permanent and then we don't have to worry about it for a while and also because that's quite a overhang there but we want to keep it open if we need it i'm just going to put my props there just put props there just to take the sag out of it just in case i don't think it'll snap far from it actually but i'm just going to do it anyway um let's get this membrane on quickly
trying to do these jobs on you is just a nightmare. It really is. All you want some is just someone to pop you. It's so frustrating. So you just work all day. Right, that's that side done. Um, I'll just get the other side done, and then we will batten it out. So we'll come back when it's batting. Because what's the point in filming you batting him?
Right, um, I went and priced up the wood. To clad it all is going to cost just over 200 euros, so I'm going to buy that this week. It's um, Saturday, not that makes any difference. Um, it's so muddy. Where we took all that mud from there and put it over to there, our driveway is just, it's muddy. And because it doesn't stop raining, it's doing our heads in. So I've bought some stone. I'm going to share. I'm going to share a top tip with you. This is my top tip. First of all, if you've got a local builder's merchant, like Shoson or Point P, be friendly to them. Befriend them. Make them become your friend. Unless they're assholes. And then you take the big sack down in your ass for 500 kilos. And they always give you a really good deal. That's probably slightly more than 500 kilos. That's it. Right. I've now got to handball all of that out and put it all around here. So let's just come back after it's done. There you go. That looks a bit neater. I've got a bit of child labour going on at the moment. Um, you get two types of this uh, calcary um, stone and it's been a long time since I've used it. And there was always one that you get told is a bit like wet and mushy and like leaves a white powder on your feet. And guess which one I bought? Yeah. So what we're going to do is, because it, it was only 13 euros to buy this stone, it was the bugger all. Um, I'll go back next week and buy the other stone, which is obviously not like this, and put it over the top. At the end of the day, this whole area all needs building up and re-leveling and lots of stone. So it'd be like the same as when we did the caravan. It, it won't go to waste. It gets reused. So I'm not overly bothered. Right. Next video will be us cladding that. Bonjour! Another video clip to continue on from that last video clip. Um, I'm going to tell you a funny little story very, very quickly because you know I like telling stories. So, the other day I got in from work and I was like, all oh, right, I've got the wood, let's quickly start cladding. So I started to clad, I put about three pieces on, I went, oh yeah, I'm filming this, ain't I? Oh, so I, I filmed the other side. So, I clad the other side, I put the last strip in screwed it all up and then the next day I looked at it and went oh yeah I was supposed to film myself putting this cladding on so as you can guess from the last video clip that doesn't show it being cladded I, I didn't film it at all it's hard work keeping on top of these vlogs I tell you look I've got an apprentice <laughs> so the business is growing really well I've, I have actually got a genuine French apprentice that works for me full time and then one of the client's friends of mine says oh would you take on my boy for work experience it's like yeah okay so we've just finished a job early so i was like well come to my house we'll continue with your work experience so he's helping me stain my porch um this overhang is quite a big overhang for the size of the wood i'm going to put in some gallow brackets which means i've got my chop saw set up so we're going to cut some gallow brackets gallow brackets are the angled bits of wood that you see on things so let's do that and i would film it okay very conveniently i've got these two bits of wood that are left over from doing that little pagoda type thing that i built over the back um they were off cut i always keep off cuts why wouldn't you keep off cuts i love off cuts so i'm going to use them so we'll just quickly mark them up get them cut and then we'll install them so i just had my apprentice just cut these wonderfully and then i offered them up like this as you expect a gallow bracket to go and then i went oh i want to put some wood on this face before i do that to make it look a lot better i've only got one piece so i'll just put this piece on then we'll put the gallow bracket on and then we'll get finn to stain it up and then i'll have to wait until i get some more wood to do that side um but we're gonna do that side first matter of fact i'm lying i'm gonna put the wood on that side and the reason i'm gonna do that is we've got some wicker fencing and i'm gonna put it on that side because this is where kaz likes to sit in the evening when she's outside reading her book so that's what we do Okay, I've got everything prepped and pre-drilled. Let's quickly fix these. Okay, happy 
days is not perfect because French wood isn't perfect. It's not, it was got a twist in it, but hey ho. Looks absolutely wonderful. And hopefully that will alleviate the risk of that bit snatching. S what is it? Snapping, that's where. Um, young Finley's nearly finished this side. That's when I tell you, you've got to do the other side as well. Yay. <laughs> um, this port is going to be up for a good couple of years. So I want to make it look nice. So we've got some um, wicker fencing that we were going to build and put over there, but that's a long way off and it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to install it here for now. So let's do that. This will do before and after. This is a before. There you go. That looks a little bit nicer. Um, couldn't be bothered to do that top section. It's really hot today. Um, there you go. Finley's uh, done a wonderful job staining that. Obviously needs another coat. But that looks a lot better. Thank you for your help today, Finley. Much appreciated. Um, I'm just currently on the digger over there, just doing a bit of extra grading. Um, the digger and dumper that I rent to move all that is currently having some work done and the ground's still too wet. Again. So, just wait until I'm in the next video clip, saying what else I'm doing. <laughs>